Welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. So we are going to be using the quadratic equation. Now, when we're using it, um, if you don't understand it, I want you to go back to the proof and really see where it comes from. So, but the first thing we're going to be doing is thinking about a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to be thinking about is uh, my standard formula, so how it links up, which is a x squared plus bx plus c. And the second thing I'm going to be thinking about is writing down my quadratic equation. I do that every single time. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And that gets me my x values. So straight away, I'm just going to be plugging it in. So that means 5 is b. 3 is C and 1 is A. So literally all we're doing is substituting. So B is 5, so negative 5 plus or minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 divided by 2 times 1 and we can just simplify now. So x equals negative five plus or minus the square root of five squared is 25. Four times one is four. Four times three is 12 minus 12 over two. Now, next thing I'm going to be thinking about is 25 take 12, that equals 13. So, so far I've got x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 13 divided by 2. Now, if we're thinking about um, what we learned in terms of um, if the square root um, number is more than, if less than zero or equal to zero, then we've just got one. But in this case, we've, we're going to be having two x values. So I'm just going to be doing the square, the square root of 13, that is 3.605. So over here, I'm going to go x equals negative five plus or minus 3.605. 3.605 divided by 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is do addition and then I'll do takeaway. So negative 5 plus 3.605 equals so x is negative 1.395 and I'll do the opposite now, negative 5, take 3.605, divide it by 2, negative 4.3025, 2 points. Let's look at our next one. So if I'm looking at 2x squared, take 2x, take 1, the first thing I'm going to, to do is write ax squared plus bx plus c here. I've got my formula here, so I'll write it normally there, but because I've got it there, I'll leave it there for now. Next thing, I need to substitute into my formula. So, b is negative 2. I'll change colour so you can see. So negative 2. Then I've got plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a which is 2 times c which is negative 1. Divided by 2a.
So A is 2, what's 2 times 2? Then I can simplify. I put, I put B squared when I should have put 2 because it's negative 2. Okay, now I'm going to simplify. I've got a negative and negative. So that's though they will just instantly cancel out and it becomes 2. So I have 2 plus or minus. Negative, negative 2 squared will be a positive, so 2 um, squared is 4 minus, <coughs> now, negative, sorry, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, negative 8 times a negative 1 is positive 8. So square root of 4 plus 8 divided by 2 times 2 equals 4. So I can simplify what's in the square root. Two plus a negative, four plus eight equals twelve. Now, if you don't want to get into the decimals and you want to get the exact number, we can do this as well. So, I just what I would like you to think about this. For what two numbers makes um, makes twelve? Three and four. So I can also write that as this. Two plus or minus the square root of three um, times the square root of four. If we remember this divided by four, the square root of four is two. So that equals two plus or minus the square root, sorry, 2, the square root of 3, divided by 4. So, <clears throat> slowly getting there. <clears throat> now, one last thing that we can do, I would like to factorise this. There's 2 that is in common. So I'm going to take 2 out and that gives me 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 over 4. Now we can simplify the 2 and the 4. Cross out the 2 because it's 1, 2 and 2 and there's 2 2's in 4. Now that leaves us with two exact, exact answers for x. x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 3 divide it by 2, and it's also equal to 1 minus the square root of 3 divided by 2. So we've got our exact answers. So you are able to either leave it in the decimal form or leave it in the exact form depending on what you're after. Really hope that helps you understand how to use the quadratic formula, the, quadra the quadratic equation. Again, make sure you look at the proof. It's about understanding where it comes from and you being able to use your skills to find the equation on your own.